Another taxa Gano being niggled at, running fourth, about two lengths, Anvil Green. Take it like a man, starting to track up towards the inside. Patiently ridden behind them, Romolo, followed by Entrechat Messiah, and a clear last is First Affair. On top of the corner here, they'd straightened up at the 400 mark, Verve de Vega, challenged by Prize Catch, who copped a bump when taxa Gano went past him on the rail, Bella's Idol, take it like a man. Romolo winding up further back in the field, taxa Gano hit the lead, got his head in front of Bella's Idol, Idol there, the two, they'll fight it out at the 100, Taxagano going better than Bella's Idol, Romolo runs to third but he's a day behind them and Taxagano draws away to win coming back in distance out of the Belmont Classic he was too good, Taxagano from Bella's Idol, four lengths, Romolo third, then take it like a man running on first, a fair Messiah on Trichard, prize catch did naught and they were followed by Verve de Vega and the tail ender is Anvil Green Taxagano's got the money here at $8.90 and $3.10, written by Daniel Stake. Number eight, Taxagano. He went past prize catch pretty easily and they brushed a bit of leather. Bella's Idol had the drop run behind them. Uh, went with Taxagano, but only until the 100. And uh, the, the race fit the horse that had been out to a, a journey in the Aquanita and the Belmont Classic, although they were pretty well beaten in those two races. Back to 16.50 today on these conditions, and it certainly helped enormously with his victory. Bella's Idol, another good run second home. Romolo was a distant third, and we stand by for fourth. It'll be 12, take it like a man. Taxaganos by Regano from Taxa. Trained by Fred Kersley for Dr. Rod Lukatelic, Dr. M. Sturgeon, Jan Hancock. Uh, Ms. S. Rixon, S. Ersig and J. Featherby handled in victory by Daniel Stake. Bella's Idol is second, number nine by Vital Equine from Bella Contessa. Trained by Dan and Ben Pierce for M and Mrs. R. Fortune. Peter Hall, the rider. And Romolo in third placing, number five by Ekra from Post Romance. For Peter's Investments, Chris Parnham aboard for trainer Adam Durant. Eight, nine, five, twelve are the numbers here. After the running of the fifth of the day, the David Gray's Ag Link Handicap. That's its second win in 12 starts for Taxagano. The Belmont Newmarket will be next. Race six, the feature at three after three. Nines out, spin to wheels, a field of eight to do battle in the listed feature. Let's go downstairs now. We'll catch up with uh, the uh, Kersley team after the victory of Taxagano, who uh, had a little bit of steel in his legs after a couple of runs over a middle distance mark. Yes, indeed. He certainly had the uh, runs uh, under the belt and the uh, moles and the legs, Fred, but does have a bit of ability, doesn't he? Yeah, kind of like the horse. He's probably just a bit disappointing in the uh, higher grades, um, but I think he's a horse with a future. Now, Fred, tell us a bit about him because you got him off Stan Bates. What have you noticed of him? Is he, is he a quirky horse at all? He's got anything that you have to keep an eye out for? No, no, he's a pretty basic horse. He's a um, very well-mannered animal. He's sort of quite relaxed in, in the stable and in the run. I thought today he got a really good trip, you know, couldn't, couldn't have worked out any better for him. So, yeah, uh, very pleased for the owners and uh, I think the horse has got a bit of a future. Maybe one that gets a little bit better with age. Now, Fred, without going too far ahead of ourselves, he raced in a derby and he obviously raced the Belmont Classic, but obvious question, a race like the Perth Cup, if he gets in on the minimum, will he head towards uh, that kind of a race? Uh, I think it's a bit out of his reach at this point in time. I think at the moment we just finish off his career like he's just turned four, lightly raced horse. It's up to him where he goes, but, you know, that wouldn't be, well, it wasn't a high-grade race, so we'll uh, keep some perspective about where we go with him. Well, he's going in the right direction, Fred, which is great to see. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Fred Kersley there, the winning trainer there of Taxa Garner, of course, formerly with Stan Bates. It was a nice effort there. It was a lovely ride from Dan Stake here. Just rode the speed with those two leaders doing the work into the headwind down the back. And uh, Dan Stake was a recipient uh, of a lovely run in transit aboard Taxa Garner, a four-year-old gelding by Regano. The stock are doing very well. And, uh, of course, formerly with uh, Stan Bates, this galloper, but uh, had a little freshen up since, and uh, it was a really nice uh, win there. And Dan Stake joins me. Dan, it was a, a nice run. You, you got into the lovely spot. You let the leaders do the work into the breeze, and when he saw daylight in the straight, he, uh, he did a nice job and put them away quite well. He yeah, ended up being a strong win at the finish. Um, as you said, yeah, I, got, I drew three, and I got a perfect run. Um, actually, when I came into the straight, I thought, oh, maybe I've gone a bit soon, but um, no, he was really strong, strong at the finish. Bella's idol, that galloper, you had to, you, you had her held, but 
you had uh, Belazado held the gelding there by Vital Econ, but uh, your guy, you asked for a little bit more, and he had a fair bit up his sleeve. Yeah, maybe the 300 metre mark, I thought, oh, this is going to be a tight race. Mm. Um, and when I was just inside the 200, when I asked for a fair bit of effort, you know, he just got a length on it, and then he held it strong. Now, Dan, uh, tell us uh, later on in the cut, have you got anything else for us? Oh, D Andy's race seven, yeah. Yeah, something. Yeah. Best of luck, Dan. Well done. Thank you. Dan Stake there, the winning rider. He's riding in outstanding form, especially for Fred Kersley at the moment. He rides the winner there on Taxagano in race number five here at Belmont Park.